Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kasaya, this is Saya Swag. And today we are going to be finishing our Cielo bag from Shambhala. It has been her secret bag pattern that you have been given in steps. And so this is step 25, I believe, like 25 to the end. So we will finish the bag in this last video. Um, if you are like, what is this about? There are two other videos before this, um, starting this bag and <laughs> doing the exterior. So go check those out. The link will be down below on where to purchase this bag and all the details about it. So, so far we have our exterior pieces done. Here's my front and here is my back. All right, so we are going to continue and finish up this gorgeous bag. Okay, so we're starting on step 25. We are going to put together the gusset. So I have my gusset pieces here, and we are going to clip the straight edge end of your gusset together, and we're going to sew those together at a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Okay, and then we want to open that seam up, flatten it, and top stitch down both sides. So I'm going to flatten my seam, just like we did on those exterior pieces. And I'm top stitching down both sides. Beautiful. All right, so there's my gusset. We are going to now add this to our bag. So get your front part of your bag. Now I have already clipped my centers. So I have a snip where my center is here. So that's gonna be helpful for putting on this gusset. So if you don't have that marked, go ahead and mark your center. You know that this is the center on your gusset piece. And you're going to start by clipping those two together here. All right, and I'm just going to do, get my clips out. I'm just going to do a couple of clips down here to start. Going both ways along this curve. All right, then you're going to want to take this up. And it's going to line up where your accent piece ends, okay? That's where this piece wants to be put. Right there. All right, and then go ahead and work the rest of this in there. Fits pretty nicely. You shouldn't have to fight it too much. Mine fits really nice, look at that, okay? Really nice on there. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do this other side here. Not a difficult gusset to clip at all. All right, now we are going to sew that together with a 1 4 inch seam allowance.
Okay. Just give that a good look. Make sure it looks good. I think we're good. I'm going to go ahead and do one more row of stitching right to the right of that stitch line. Um, I just like to do that on my main exterior pieces sometimes. It helps the stitches not pop and show from the right side of the bag when you turn everything through. I feel like it helps a lot. So I'm just doing a little second row of stitching real quick. And then we will add the other side. So go ahead and we are going to repeat those same steps for the other side. We're gonna clip them on and sew it up. Find your centers. And then go from there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and sew this other side up. Okay, I am going to do a second row real quick on that bottom, just like I did on the other side. And then we'll connect this top area together.
Okay, so now you have these little um, top two areas here that haven't been sewn shut. So you wanna pinch those closed now. Okay, we're just gonna take those and line them up together and try and get them even. And we are going to sew that together at a fourth inch seam allowance until it closes up the hole right here, okay? So until you meet up with your stitching from the gusset, basically. So I'm just clipping my sides together, okay? So we're just gonna sew those up. Double check that you got hole closed. <laughs> Looks good. I didn't have to go pretty far down. I just went right there. All right, so now I'm gonna do the other side. Same thing. Fourth inch seam allowance. Okay. I'm just going to trim down my seam allowance a little bit. And then we'll turn it and see what we have. Mm. My pinking shears can't handle all those layers. You don't have to trim much off. Just kind of around these corners really around the curves. and see what it looks like. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. All right. There's the back of my bag. There's the front of my bag. Look at how that whole side came together and how you're piping. Oh, that looks so good. I love it. Okay, so there's the exterior of our bag. I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside and we will start working on our lining pieces. Our next step is we want to put our magnetic snaps on our lining band. So there were marks on the pattern piece of your placement for that. So I have those transferred to my band pieces. I'm gonna take my washer and that's gonna be my center mark for my washer there. And then I will install my magnetic snaps and make sure that you are backing them with a Peltex of some kind or some kind of interfacing for protection. Just like we did on the strap connector. So I have a piece of Peltex here that I already put my cut lines in for this. All right. And that is one snap. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat. I'll do two of the same on this and then the other side on 
the other band. Okay, so after your snaps are installed on your top band, make sure they're protected too with some kind of tape or something over it. We're going to get our lining piece and we're gonna line those two up at the top here, right sides together. And we wanna sew those together along this straight edge at a fourth inch seam allowance. And then we're going to flip it up and top stitch. Okay, so you're going to fold your seam allowance down towards the bottom. So my seam allowance is going down and we are going to top stitch along this lining piece, all right? So you should be top stitching through your extra seam allowance and the lining right now. There's your front, there's your back. All right, put that aside real quick. Get the other side to your lining and repeat same steps. Okay, so before I add my gusset to my lining, I am going to put a pocket on one of them. So I need to find my center and put my zipper pocket in. You can use whatever method you want to install this zipper pocket. I'm doing just an easy method. Um, I know she has tutorials on her way of doing it, which is great. 
totally up to you. Okay, so I'm just finding my center real quick so I can center up this pocket. And then I'm going to, and this piece is just the measured piece that she has in the pattern. It's the same measurements that she has in the pattern for that. So just center that right sides together for this. I think it needs to go a little further up than that. I'm gonna go right there. Looks good. All right, so I'm going to sew around that rectangle that I just made and attach my lining. Okay, and now I'm going to cut that out so I can pull it through. And I do have my iron heating up, so when I pull it through, I can iron it flat to the back of the bag. And then I will add my zipper. So we're going to pull that through to the back. And that's why you have to iron. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to iron that all nice to the back of my bag and then we'll put the zipper in. All right, so I have it ironed to the back. Looks good. All right, so here's my zipper. I have double-sided tape on both sides. I'm going to take off one side and put it in there and then I'll take off the other side. So I usually like to just fold mine down like this to make sure I'm getting it centered into my pocket. It needs to go about right there. And then take off the other side. And flip it up. I highly recommend using double-sided tape when you install zippers. It certainly does help keep it in place. Okay, so we're just going to sew around the zipper now.
Okay, there's the front, there's the back. All right, so now we need to close up this zipper. So you can do one of two things for this bag. You could cut the bottom of the zipper open or do a, you know, opened zipper there um, and an open lining. So you're going to pull the bag when it's done through the lining to berth it. And then what you can do after that is pull your lining through your pocket and close it up and then close up your pocket so you don't have that weird seam in your lining if you wanted to do that. Um, I think that is what I'm going to do. So I will show you that way. I'm gonna sew the top together here first and then I'm gonna cut my pocket open. I'm just cutting the bottom of my pocket open and then folding it up. You can iron it too. It just makes it easier to sew together when you're done if you have it like this. All right, so now I'm going to sew up my sides. Okay, there's my pocket. Like I said, you don't have to leave the bottom of your pocket open, but that's what I'm choosing to do. It's kind of my favorite way to do it because then I don't have that funky seam in my lining. It's in the bottom of my pocket and I can kind of hide it. Okay, so let's go to the next step. Let's put the rest of our lining together. So we're going to sew the gusset together just like we did with the exterior. All right, a 3 8 inch seam allowance. And then you can open it and top stitch it on either side. to attach our lining. Here we go. So I have this one already clipped because I was figuring out the pocket. So I have this one clipped. So make sure that you know where your centers are at. And we are assembling this exactly like our exterior, except for one thing is that our seam allowance will change. So we'll start at a fourth inch seam allowance up here and then we'll increase to a half inch seam allowance for all the way back up to here and then go back to a fourth. That will ensure that we don't have a baggy lining in our bags, okay? So we will be doing that. But that, other than that, the whole assembly is the same.
If you need to do some clips in your gusset right here, you can. Okay, let's go ahead and sew that up. So I'm gonna start with a fourth, a one fourth, and then I'm going to increase to that half inch seam allowance, and then back to one fourth. Okay, and then slowly go back to that one fourth inch seam allowance as you get back to the other side here. All right. And then repeat for the other side of the lining. And the only other thing that's gonna change is I'm going to leave a open hole in the bottom of this side of my lining. So I won't sew from about here to here because we need to be able to pull the bag through that. But you still need to clip it all the way, and I don't have my centers clipped on this one. Just a minute. I would still clip it the exact same way so that you know that it's completely even. All right. Here we go.
Here we go. One fourth, and then I'm going to a half. And I'm going to stop about there, and I'm going to come out at an angle here. I'm giving myself a nice big area. And then I'll start right here. And then go back to that fourth inch seam allowance right there. All right, so now I have a nice big hole on the bottom here to pull my bag through. All right, see that? Okay, and then we close up the sides the same way that we did our exterior real quick. And then we will be putting the two together. So just a one fourth inch seam allowance right here. We got kind of a bump there. If you need help over that, you can get a piece of folded up vinyl and it'll go right over. Okay, other side. All right, our lining is done. We are going to add the two pieces together now. Okay, so now we wanna take our lining, we leave it inside out like this, and we wanna take our exterior right side out, and we're going to put our exterior inside of our lining, and I want the back of my exterior to the zipper pocket. Okay, so those two should be together. All right, and you're just gonna push that down in there. And I'm gonna have to go like this because I usually do this in my lap. Okay, so you're just going to start matching up the top of these two bags together and we're gonna clip them all along. And you know, it's kind of awkward because your lining is a tad bit smaller now than your exterior. So you do have to kind of maneuver and manipulate all of it in there. Okay, I usually start with my side seams and get those lined up and then my centers and go from there. Okay. My vinyl is ah, nice and slippery. 
<laughs> it's up next to the other side. So I'm gonna have to be extra careful here. All right, and then find your centers here. I like to clip those next. I mean, this should clip pretty nicely since it's got this shape that you can line it all up to. It's not that difficult. I'm just doing a lot of clips because my vinyl's a little slippery. All right. There's my other center right there. Okay. Oh wait, I've got one more little side. All right, once you have all that clipped, we're going to sew around this top edge at a 3 8 inch seam allowance. All right, 3 8 Most of this pattern has been done with a 1 4 so we're sewing the top at a 3 8 inch seam allowance. I put a ton of clips in. My vinyl is super slippery. Um, okay, so we'll do that and then go to the next step.
Okay, so just like I did on my gusset pieces for the exterior, I'm gonna do just one more row of stitching right beside to the right of the row that I just did. Again, it just helps with my stitches not popping from the other side. Gives it a little extra security and strength. Especially on vinyl, I like to do this. going to give my curves a little bit of um, clipping with my pinking shears. So that'll help when we turn the bag out and it'll help it with those curves to lay nice. Pull it through. It's a nice big hole on the bottom. Should be fairly easy to pull through. Oh, look at that. So now we just have to kind of push out our seam right here. Just give it a good like run with your fingernails. It's usually what I use or you could get a chopstick in there and just push out that seam so it's laying nice. Ooh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, there we go. Okay, this is what we have so far. So I do need to put on that turn lock still, that's fine. I think that was a good placement for that. That's gonna turn out really nice. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to top stitch along our bag, and then I'm going to pull my lining through my pocket, close up my lining, close up my pocket, We'll put on our handles and I'll put on my turn lock. Okay, we're gonna top stitch the bag.
Now, if you need help over this seam, do the same thing, fold a piece, put it under your foot here, because I don't want it tearing up my vinyl either. So I will place it under after I grow through because I have a walking foot, just to be extra careful. Look at your bag, make sure it looks like fails. All right, so I am all top stitched. Okay. <laughs> it looks good. Sorry, that's a bad view. Looks good. All right, so now I want to close up everything else. So I'm going to open my pocket all the way. I'm going to pull out my pocket. Now, again, if you didn't do it this way, that's fine. You'll just be closing up your lining and not having to pull it through your pocket and close it that way. Totally up to you. All right, so now I'm just gonna clip this together, close it up, and then I'll close up my pocket. I did forget to trim my lining seam allowance. So if you want to do that before you have assembled it all, after you were done with the lining, you can do that. I just totally spaced trimming my lining. All right, so you push that back in. So now, your lining is closed and doesn't have a weird funky seam and now you can just close up your pocket so just another way to close up a bag there's lots of different ways all right
Okay, my bag is all closed up. I'm gonna push that back down in there. So it's all closed, it's all good. All right, next step. Okay, so the last step that you have is putting on all your handles. So I've already done three of mine, okay? I just make sure and evenly punch holes on all the ends of my handles together. I punch those all first, make sure they all line up. Um, you're folding it about an inch, maybe just a little more under your connector. And then you're just gonna rivet your handles on, easy as that. Just a rivet through each one. Okay. And that's it. And those are my handles. Okay, I'm just going to install my turn lock the top part of my turn lock right there. And then we are done. I'm not gonna do that on camera since it's not part of the pattern, but I have shown how to do these before. You cut out this middle shape, you have screws, and you attach it right there. And then the bag is done. Okay, we're all done with our Cielo bag. Yay! Look at that. I absolutely love it. I hope you guys love it too. I hope this was fun for you. Uh, when Sammy contacted me about what she was doing with this pattern, I thought it was such a clever idea and so fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed it like I did. Like, this is the first time I sewed up this bag too, bag too so I'm surprised. Yay! <laughs> there it is. And I did put on that twist lock and it fits just perfectly. Look at that. Yay. All right. Let me know if you guys have any comments down below, any questions, and I'll try to answer them all. And thank you so much for watching. If you haven't liked or subscribed, please do. I would appreciate it. Here it is on. That's a cute. I like how it's kind of thinner at the top. It's a great little under the arm bag. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.